All right, well, I'm doing a video here on this little guy. Um, the video camera, the setting, it doesn't, it kind of, as you can see, it's kind of fading in and out a little bit. Um, but there's not much I can do about that. I think maybe if I was to video it in a couple hours or so, once it gets dark, um, then it might be better. But we're going to do this right now and see what happens. All right, anyway, so this little guy, you know, um, the numbers are actually very easy to read. Um, obviously, I have the camera zoomed in, but I'm sitting here in a normal position, and this thing is probably two feet or so away from me. And um, boy, you know what? It's, it's nice and easy to read. So, this was my main thing with this that I was, yeah, I was very uneasy about is, are the numbers going to be so small and stuff, and the screen so small that it's going to be a pain in the butt to read? Um, now, my car is in the driveway, so it's pitched. Um... I'm not even going to bother resetting it or anything. This is just a little video I'm making just to really give an accurate detail of the, the actual usability of it. This is a screen here that I was the most concerned about because I, I, I honestly, I would, if I would have bet money, you know what, I honestly probably would have bet like $100 to be like, you know what, man, these numbers and stuff are going to be too small to read when you're driving around. And, uh, you know, to be fair, I probably would have kind of like almost lost that bet. Because if I'm just driving like normal, and that's over here, and in the Humvee, it'll, it'll be even closer than, than what this is in my car. Um, you know what? I can look over there and sure they're a little small. It would be nicer if they were bigger, but you know what? I can look over here and see the numbers nice and clear. Um, now I am in the shade, uh, you know, so I'm sure in the sunlight, it'll be a little dimmer. Um, but it's still, it's, it's still very bright the rest of the, you know, out there, but in the Humvee, it'll probably be closer and out of because like the Humvee windshield is straight up and down, so you're not going to have this light that can come in here. So it'll probably be shaded more in the Humvee. Um, and man, like that's... You know what? I thought the elevation here was 2400. Okay, it's 2700. Alright. Oh. 20, 2,400 feet higher than what I've lived the first 45 years of my life. That must be where that 24 comes from. So, yeah, I mean, that's nice and good right there. Um, in the Humvee, I'm not going to care about the speedometer. Like, that's not going to matter. The only thing where I might do something with this is for when I'm in town driving I might have it set at 30, like at 40 miles an hour, because one of the things here in Idaho is that the the state speed limit in town is 35 miles an hour. Now there are other cases where it can be higher, but for the most part, anywhere you drive around in Idaho, the speed limit's going to be 35 miles an hour in town, and obviously the Humvee can go past that. Um, but on the freeway and whatnot, yeah, I'm not concerned about how fast I'm going. Because I won't be able to speed. I mean, on the freeway here, you're talking 80, 80 miles an hour. So the Humvee won't even go that fast. So your time. Ah, eh, who cares about that? That's never going to get used. Um, and there's, there's the time again. But then you got your time and your speedometer. And this is kind of a cool thing right here. Like, I don't, although I don't think I'll really use it though. Because the distance traveled on the time pass, I mean, you know, do you really need that? Like, okay, I left home at 1230. 
all right how hard is that to remember or just to mark down or send a text to yourself oh hey all right i left it this time um but this right here is the main screen i'm going to use the most um obviously not when i'm in town because that won't matter uh, but the humvee has a left and right pitch now we're talking when it's fully loaded now i'm not going to be anywhere near fully loaded not even close just a little bit loaded is all and so i would assume the performance is going to be even greater but you can do a 40 degree left and right tilt um and the, the humvee won't tip over because they're you know they're super wide and their um their center of gravity is actually very low um but now the incline and obviously decline you know whatever on that that doesn't really matter but the incline the humvees are supposed to be able to do uh a 60% grade now obviously traction uh, matters a lot um, so you know I don't know with this thing um, I have heard some stuff about when you drive around and this thing might shake around too much if you're vibrating like I don't yeah you know it's moving around but we're talking what one or two degrees like who cares if that's like, that doesn't really matter too much if it's moving around a little bit. I'm like, that that doesn't really hurt anything. Um, but yeah, I got nine satellites just sitting right here. Yeah, you know, this thing is really nice. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, I didn't think that I was going to um think it's as good as it is it is it's kind of ex exceeded my expectations there was another one of these that only did the um the inclination uh and it had a left and a, uh, it had the the left and right and then the up and down it had them separate actually no no i take that back the other one i was looking at it had them together uh, but it's made by the same company and it's probably around that same size um, but you know what? This thing's nice. I like it. Um, I was thinking about buying the other one, seeing which one I like best, and then just returning the other one. But you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep this one and not even buy the other one. This thing is nice, and I can see it nice and clearly. And that was that was my main thing. I thought the numbers were going to be too small. I thought the screen was going to be too small. But we are good to go.